rest of that trip was just like all four days, all 24 hours it felt like we were just like always on our feet doing something, you know, we got up at like six, went to the parks and maybe we got home for like lunch at like two and then went back, back to the parks and got home at like ten and stay up until like one. But, uh, it was a really fun trip, it was a really fun trip and uh, right after we got back from Disney, but I didn't want to because it was like perfect weather, it was like 85 degrees, you know, I was getting tan out by the pool, it was, it was so nice and then I had to come back to like 50 degree weather in Pennsylvania, but I got back and uh, track was like, it was like the second, third week of track, I missed the second week of the Disney, but I got back and after the first practice that I was back at, I took my phone and I got an email from Columbia University. This is probably like March 15th or something. And it basically said that um, I was um, a, a candidate for likely admission. Like a, a likely letter is what the IB sent out. And uh, I didn't know that at the time what a likely letter was. So I kind of looked it up and I just like, my mind was blown because Columbia was like my number one school for a long time. And their acceptance rate was like 4%. Sunday clothes, I don't know. 
focusing on that. And, uh, and then, uh, and then it was Easter break. That's what it was. Yeah, like the next day after that or the day of, I can't remember. We got off for Easter break and we had like three days off. But of course, the first day of my break, I track invite. So the whole day was spent there. And the next day, me and my girlfriend Liza, you guys, you guys know Liza, we went to a, a thrift store because it was a rock band t-shirt day. Just admitted like my senior quote and my baby pictures and stuff like that and like in case you guys want 
because 
Zach. 